Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Sunday, the 22nd of September 2019, and today I want to try something different. Um, a bit of a theme going on for the next few days. And that theme is going to be food. Um, which will probably take up the next few days until the end of September. And it just seemed like a good idea. Food brings everyone together at the end of the day. Everyone likes a good meal. And I admit, at the day, at the end of the day, I'm a terrible cook, terrible chef. But um, I'm always interested in trying something new and hopefully some of these recipes I'm about to talk about uh, I'll actually give a try at some point at making and they'll be the thing I need to actually become a good cook. So specifically what are we talking about? Uh, what recipes are we going to be exploring? Well because Telford is in the heart of Shropshire we're going to be looking at favourite Shropshire recipes. Traditional meals um, that are home to, which come from the county of Shropshire. And yeah, that's going to be the theme we'll be looking at for the next few days. Now be sure you read the description box of this video for more information about this particular book and also uh, the recipes actually mentioned in each video and uh, on that note we're gonna I want to say that I want to dedicate this video to the following people uh, first and for foremost to Layla Embleton, who, as I said in a previous video, is out in China at the moment as part of her university studies, and she's going to be out there for the next academic year. Now, Layla's no doubt going to be experiencing all kinds of really fantastic Chinese food, um, which is going to be brilliant, uh, kind of envious of that. And I figured some of these recipes would be good for Layla to try should any of the locals want to know about English food and well Layla you can just stick on one of these videos and talk about traditional food from Shropshire um, and for the same or similar reasons this video is dedicated to anyone watching this video who's currently from or living outside the UK uh, doesn't matter if you're in Canada, America, and I know I've got views from Canada and America, or India. Uh, if you're ever interested, or wherever you're from, if you're interested in like English food and want to give it a go, then this video is also dedicated to you as well. And finally, this video is dedicated to anyone within the UK who's just a fan of food. And I don't know if you've encountered these recipes or not um, well if not I hope you enjoy them and everything else so yeah with all that sorted we're gonna proceed with talking about the first recipe Shropshire apple cobs uh, this delicious apple pudding is a Shropshire variation of the upper ever popular apple dumpling and what you need for it is 12 ounces of prepared short crust pastry, 4 cooking apples, 6 heaped teaspoons thick honey, half an ounce of butter softened, half to one teaspoon mixed spice, a little milk or beaten egg to glaze, 20 cloves to decorate. So those are your ingredients. 
and once you've got it all sorted uh, this is what you do set oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 4 uh, roll out the pastry on a lightly floured surface and cut four circles slightly larger than the base of each apple from just under one half of the pastry. Set these on a greased baking sheet. Peel and core the apples and place on the pastry circles. Mix together the honey and butter and use to fill the apples then sprinkle over a little spice. Roll out the remainder of the pastry, divide into four circles and place these over the apples as lids and smooth down. Turn up the edges of the base circles, dampen and seal well with the lids, fluting slightly to form a little frill. Brush with milk or beaten egg to glaze and bake for 20 to 30 minutes or until golden. Just before serving, push five, clo uh, five cloves into the top of each cob to form a crown. Serve hot with custard or thick cream. So yeah, that was the uh, recipe and what to do for Shropshire apple cobs. As I said, uh, read the description box of this uh, video where everything I've just said will be written down and it sounds like a really good recipe um, in fact I think I've watched another YouTube video recently where we actually talk about this more so yeah it looks really good sounds delicious and I think this will be one of the first recipes from this book I'll be trying out for myself at some point. So yeah. On that note, thank you for watching. Happy cooking. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Thank you man, goodbye.